Create for me a realistic image of a man that is riding a bike. Now in the background we can see a big vivid mushrooms. And also I would like to see the waterfall at the background and here big trees. Alright, so Mid Journey version 7 is released. And actually for me it's something incredible. We can create better quality images. We've got new draft mode and even we can use voice prompting, you know? So we can actually record some audio and here, you know, get prompt by that. And in this video I will show you exactly everything you need to know about this newest update. We'll compare two different versions. So version 6.1 and 7. And you know, again, I will show you everything about this new update. So to begin with, firstly, what you need to do, you need to unlock version number seven, because actually you can't get access instantly to this feature, you need to do one simple thing. And now let me show you. When you are inside Mid Journey website, go over head to the personalized tab, and here you need to rank at least 200 images, because actually you know version seven works on personalization. So there, what you need to do, I actually did that, so I ranked um, 222 um, images. However, let me show you. Either you need to choose um, second option or first. So we can simply click on your keyboard, one, two, let's say two, and one, two. So it takes a few minutes, um, however, you know, after that, um, you've got your version unlocked and you can use it. After you do this, you can use this version right now. So you go over ahead to the Create tab and there, um, you know, in the settings, um, you can choose it. It's so, so nice. So for example, let me type a colorful sushi platter with salmon nigiri and tuna rolls wasabi ginger served on a black stone plate. I can type the aspect ratio or even, you know, here, choose it. So I can do this by this way. However, I prefer to type parameters. Um, yeah, I, I get used to that um, inside Discord. Nevertheless, you know, um, let's run it and see what we get. Um, however, now um, you can see we've got version seven. So I'm very excited actually. Um, let me actually go over ahead and also provide version number 6.1. Um, so we'll see the actual difference right now, right away. It's so, so cool. Um, it's being generated. So we've got 83%. And you know, um, actually in a while in this video, I will show you the differences and what's new with this new, um, you know, update. However, for now, I can tell you, actually images are much more realistic, much more crisp, and you know, it's much better. So for example, here, uh, we've got nice sushi. It's so, so cool. And you know, like look on the structure. It's so, so realistic. Here, um, let me show you. Uh, we've got also this, um, yeah, this plate. And there, this is the sushi created with version 6.1. So, do you see the difference, actually? Because I see huge difference. Maybe, for instance, let's take this image and compare that image with this one. The actual differences, the details are not huge. However, even look on the structure sometimes, you know? So, version 7, I can say, is much better at creating more realistic images. However, when we speak about it, let me actually tell you what's new. So in general, I've got this file I prepared actually, and you know, we've got first very um, significant improvement. So here, I'm um, text prompt understanding and image quality. Mid Journey version seven significantly improves how it understands and processes text prompts, generates higher quality images, richer textures and better detail coherence. So hands, object faces, you know? So I think actually, we won't see a lot of improvements between, for example, one version and right away another version after that. However, I think between Mid Journey version 7 and 6.1, I can say very significant differences. So I will show you that in a while um, where I will cover, you know, um, I prepared for you some images to compare. Nevertheless, we've got new draft mode. So this is the new feature, I will show you that in this video, that enables quick interactions. So 10 times faster than standard generation, 50% cheaper, ideal for testing ideas rapidly. I will show you that in a while. Voice prompting. Draft mode supports voice input for even faster creation. So actually, what you can do, actually you saw this, um, um, the preview at the beginning of this video. So I was speaking something and instantly I got um, my, um, you know, results. So it's also nice. Turbo relax modes, turbo mode, faster output, 2x the cost, relax mode, slower, more affordable. Personalization. And I can say it's something really new because we've got it enabled by default. So personalization is now built into V7. 
we haven't had the possibility, actually not the possibility, but it wasn't enabled in other, you know, models, um, like a default. We could have done it, however, you know, uh, we had to enable that. Um, and now with version 7, it's de enabled again as a default. So we need to rate 200 images, as I told you, and, you know, it tailors results to your per uh, visual preferences. And last but not least, we've got feature limitations. So it's actually, um, you know, when new model is released, every time we've got temporary limitations. So for example, upscaling, and painting, retexturing. So for sure, it will change in a while. Now let me show you how these new features work inside Mid Journey. So I mean draft mode and voice prompting. And first of all, let's cover draft mode. And we can find it in the right top corner of our page. So when I click on that, um, actually you can see. Uh, we've got our prompt box, however, it's not the prompt box. We actually change our prompts um, to something like a chat with a LLM model. So for example, chat GBT or any other model, you know. And here, what we exactly type? Uh, we type our thoughts of what we'd like to create. So for example, you know, a sushi on a fancy plate. And when I simply run it, I won't get this exact prompt. However, new prompt created because I only gave an idea for the model. So, you know, draft mode is very great because actually you can create a lot of nice ideas, a lot of different prompts. And afterwards, I will show you, you know, um, how to bring it to life. Nevertheless, you can see how fast it is. We've got first image and um, here you can see it's only the draft. So there we've got another image. We've got another image. Um, so it's so, so nice. However, now let's do something else with that. For example, let's say I don't like black plate. So I can type, all right, but I don't like um, black plates. So now what it does, it actually changes our prompt, to our preferences. So we know we are in draft mode. We are operating on this image. So now it generated black plate. So it's something weird because it should be opposite, actually, you know. So let's type it. So I received images with black plate. I didn't want um, to get it. Let's see what we get now. So if that works or not. Um, still, we've got some black theme. However, you know, it changes constantly. So we are again kind of um, actually telling what we would like to improve, what we would like to get. And for instance, let's type something else. So for instance, um, create only sushi with salmon. Um, let's say salmon, no other fish. Let's see if that works. And draft mode is again very great at, you know, um, now it's creating. Nice. So draft mode is actually great at bringing ideas to life without creating, you know, a lot of images. So it's 10 times faster. It's 50% cheaper. So it's great mode to actually, again, I'm creating some artworks that later on we can bring to life. Nevertheless, now let me show you something very important. We don't see our settings, you know. So previously, uh, we could have chosen, um, you know, for example, aspect ratio, stylized parameter, and other things. However, right now we can do this. So let's now try something else, and I will show you what happens. Um, let's make this sushi, uh, for example, let's say, provide now, provide now different um, sushi rolls. And let's type actually um, our parameter, which is aspect ratio 16 by nine. And now see what happens. We have our aspect ratio, which is 16 by nine. So it's so, so cool. Um, however, we need to type it by providing parameters. So we know it works by this way. And now you can ask, all right, but this, these are our draft images. And can we use them? Of course you can, you can download them right here. However, the quality is just worse. That's why it's faster, you know, and it's um, cheaper. The quality is just worse. This mode is actually to get you some nice ideas. And now let me show you what you can do. Let's say um, you like these creations. So for example, let's say this creation you like. And now you need to, um, you know, bring it to life somehow. So here inside cre creation actions, I'm going to click on more options and enable more actions right there. And you've got option to enhance. So if you click on that, what it will do, it will actually take this prompt, this idea, and it will bring it to life. And also what's very important, it's not our upscale option. 
So it won't upscale this image and, you know, create just variation with better quality. It will take this idea and create something very similar. So now um, it's being created and look on the difference, um, you know, when it comes to the quality. So it's much, much better. I'm um, here, um, you know, we've got this sushi. So that's how um, you can use this draft mode. And I think it can save you a lot of, a lot of time. And now actually um, the next very important thing is that when you create something on a draft mode, um, let me actually show you. Firstly, I created this uh, set of four images. So afterwards I was working on that, basing on that. So every time when I were running, you know, um, like the following prompts asking to change something, it was basing on our initial um, generation. If you want to bring the pattern and for example, create something new, um, just refresh the page, you know, so I can refresh the page and now um, let's, uh, for example, you know, type something like create a sushi plate. Um, however, let me enable the draft mode and um, create a sushi plate uh, with sushi. Um, actually, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so let's uh, make a sushi plate. And now you can see we've got something very different than um, all of these um, results because you can notice these are pretty actually, and you know, the position right here, for example, of this plate, of this plate, of this plate, of this plate. It's pretty similar. However, when we break the pattern, uh, we get something um, very different. And now let me show you other feature, which is also amazing. And I'm thinking about, um, you know, um, voice prompting. So here I've got this, when I enable my draft mode, I have my start voice mode. I can enable that and talk some ideas. Please create me an image of a person that is surfing. Um, really nice background, you know, um, yeah, see, and we've got like the sun and a lot of vivid colors. All right, but now make this image more realistic. It's still as a painting. I would like to get realistic style, realistic uh, man, you know, and a close-up shot. So as you can see, it's something very nice. We can constantly talk with me journey, improve some details without, you know, typing that, um, like, you know, wasting a lot of time. And also this draft mode, um, combining with the, um, you know, voice mode is so, so powerful because not only and we can spend less time when it comes to creating some ideas for images. However, also we can use our voice feature. So, you know, I just created these images, I can say in a several seconds, instead of waiting, for example, um, I don't know, four minutes or so on. And after, for example, you've got your idea, after several seconds, a few minutes, um, you can go ahead again and, you know, enhance this image and you've got your perfect artwork created. Also with the version number seven, there comes personalization option, which is as a default. So here um, you've got this P icon and there you can enable or disable personalization. And now let me actually show you the difference. And it works um, actually on your rated images, you rate it in the past, you know? So if you rate some images, then it takes um, the style actually you prefer and it creates um, like images adhered to it. So for example, firstly, let me, um, yeah, turn it off. And now let's run the prompt, a waffle cone with three um, scoops of ice cream, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla with sprinkles on a, sub on a summer day. Let's run it. And now the same prompt, actually let's run with the personalization. So you will see the actual difference, you know? Because here we've got version seven and here uh, we have our personalization option. So the difference is huge actually, you know? Here we've got um, like very simple cone. I'm here with three scoops of ice cream. It's so nice, it's very realistic. However, here, this style is different. So I've got more, you know, um, blue background, consistent background, and it's kind of different. I hope you can see the difference between these two sets of images, because for me, it's really significant. Now, actually, let's move on to comparisons. And I will show you the difference between version 6.1 and version 7 because I think it's huge. So for example, there I've got a close-up portrait of an old man with a long white beard, wrinkles and piercing blue eyes, studio lighting, aspect ratio 16 by nine. And this is version 6.1 and this is version seven. And for me, version seven is much more realistic, you know, because here we've got the skin. Also, we've got, you know, some details. 
However, still, um, like, look even on the camera focus. We've got some blurry nose. Uh, there, it's much more realistic, um, actually, for me. So, the difference is, again, huge. However, let's move on to other example. Actually, I think this example will be better to show you the difference, because we've got a juicy cheeseburger with melted cheese, lettuce, tomato, seasoned bun, on a wooden table, natural lighting. And here, look on these results. These are realistic as a product ad. However, right there, look on the background. Look on the details. It's so, so much different, you know? We've got here um, something like the camera lens was applied, you know what I mean? Um, so here, it's much more realistic, I can say. It's too perfect. Like the background, it's too perfect. Um, like also all of the details. So we have had this possibility actually to create realistic images with version 6.1. However, sometimes they were too realistic. Um, I hope you know what I mean. Too perfect. However, there we've got nice image that I wouldn't be able to distinguish that from real, um, you know, um, photograph of a burger. So again, it's so, so nice. And now let me show you something different. A cozy Scandinavian living room, white walls, wooden floors, soft pillows, plants by the window, morning sunlight. And again, the difference is so, so nice, actually huge. And here we've got something very realistic and there also very realistic, however, different lighting. I can say the differences again are not huge. However, we can look on small details. For example, on this part of the plant, you know, um, here, um, like the structure even sometimes. When we zoom in, um, let me actually show you. Let's zoom in um, some image and see on the structure on, on some, you know, parts. So here, for example, some flowers and there. Like here, flowers look very natural, very realistic. Like everything here looks very realistic. Uh, yeah. So this is the difference. And again, version 6.1 is also solid. So the difference is actually, um, you know, the improvements won't be um, you know, from 1, um, let's say, no, from 7 out of 10 to 10 out of 10, or even from 5 to 9. Nevertheless, I hope you see that. So, the version 6 is so, so cool, and I recommend you to test it out. Next case is a cartoon-style pirate cat with stripped shirt and tiny sword. And here we can see, actually, the different approach. So, these, actually, results from different versions are so, so different. Here we've got cartoon style, and here a more realistic approach, um, so, you know, as I said, version 7 um, creates better um, actually and more realistic results. So, actually, again, the difference is huge, for example, between this image and, for example, this one. And in the last example for now, I wanted to provide some text and see how it works. For sure, with me, Journey, um, still we've got some problems. For example, um, if you generate long, um, you know, form text. Uh, we can't do that right now. However, a motivational poster with the text stay strong, bold font, mountain background, dramatic lighting. And here, actually, look on the approach. Um, there we've got something very in coloristic style, uh, very vivid, um, and you know, like, the text is um, in red. However, here uh, we've got um, our bold font, something more, I can say, minimalistic, and I can say completely different result. So, we can see the approach of these models and how they differ in so many cases. So we've got it. Thank you for watching the video. So I hope you found it helpful, you like it. And in general, for now, you know everything about Mid Journey version 7. I'm um, also I need to mention if you would like to unlock full Mid Journey courses, along with plus other 12 courses, um, actually check out our A community. We've got DeepSeek Masterclass, Zapier Masterclass. We've got the course about generating images with ChatGBT. So, for example, how to create long form text. We've got plus for the use cases here, 22 methods, how to, um, you know, make money with this technology. And also, you know, if you enroll in our community, you've got instant access to these 12 and um, plus 12 courses. Also, we've got our live calls. Um, we've got, you know, um, like the networking space. So we talk, we integrate and we learn AI together. So feel free to check it out. I will put the link below. For now, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.